hello 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 i don't even know if this video is going to be a part black box and then a part of me just talking so it's job both i mean it is black screen i'm gonna keep it like that but what's on my mind right now is um my children and all children like all children are my children like i treat all the kids like they're my kids and that's what this world is actually supposed to be for them for the children this world supposed to be safe that's number one safe peaceful loving simple like I mean children you know children don't supposed to have no stress no heartache like I mean just they're supposed to be happy and free so that's how this world is supposed to be this world actually supposed to cater to children like everything's supposed to be safe from the cars like the cars aren't supposed to be going up to I don't know how many miles 150 miles an hour I don't know like the, the colors like it's supposed to be so bright and so cheerful for the kids so yeah but let's see talking about children and so for me when that judgment day come when like the balance scale when people you know got to be weighed what they did on that balance scale it's going to be focused on children like how did you treat a child or children when you was here you know like all that other stuff like if people rob people steal cheat you know because in different like in different i guess religions or cultures like it's fine to have multiple wives and husbands you know and in other religion and cultures you're only supposed to be with one person so that right there is like which right which right which one is right or which one is wrong so it's like things like that you know oh you know when people kill somebody it's like oh you don't supposed to kill but oh if it's self-defense then it's okay so it's like that scale when you on that scale and it's like oh you killed somebody it's like but it was self-defense so that should be a good thing you know like anything that's like controversial that can go both ways Nah, they ain't even going to matter. What's going to matter is what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And the main thing is treating how you treat children. How you treat babies. How you treated the innocent. That's what it's going to be about. That's what that balance scale is all about is how you treat it children was you physically abusive to them was you emotionally abusive to them was you mentally was you physically was you any other elise you know like in a bad way like you know purposely you know harming them purposely you know tormenting them that's what it's all is going to come down to. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's going to be about how you treated children. Not nothing else. Not, oh, you stole something from the store. And it's like, oh, well, I ain't had no money and I got to feed my kids. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like, like I said, anything that... That's like a reasonable doubt. Like people can look at it as yay or nay. Is that's not going to be on a scale. I mean, you know, that's not what you want to be weighed, weighed um, up against. Like I said, I don't know. I mean, I can't say this enough. It's about how you treat the children, you know. And children, they are our future. So yeah, so I'm like, man, my, 
I got four children's fathers, four different guys, you know, and two of them are not treating my sons good, like mentally. And I know they know better about the physically and, you know, I don't even want to say the S word, X E, you know, blink, you lee. But, um, but yeah, so I know that, come on now, I know they, they know better with that. But far as like mentally and emotionally and even psychologically, psychologically, that's the word. Because I'm like, man, let me see. Can I, okay, my my oldest, okay, my second son, AJ, um, his dad, Lamont, and okay, this is, of course, all facts, all true. Um, he got sole custody of our son. He actually had him from both of them, but our oldest son turned 18, so, you know, he's out of the custody age you know um and he don't got no disability or nothing so anyways man okay this is a story that i'm gonna say so it was doing okay basically he got um so custody of of them well of him now he is 15 years old he about to be 16 in march but because of the lies most likely that his dad told against me this Bama, man, and I know we know each other since we were 11 years old. I swear, I'm I'm like these dudes that is like doing this to me, like harm it, were trying to harm me, but they harming our children in the process. Like for whatever I didn't do to them, and the only thing that I can say that I did do to them is leave them, is not want to be with them. So they like oh, to pay her back in a bad way. Uh, what what does she love the most? What does she care for the most? What, you know, how can we get to her, you know, me? Like, how can they get to me? Oh, her children. She treats them so good. She treats our sons good. She's a great mother. If I take that away from her, if I take what she loved the most, the precious thing that she, you know, care for the most, if I take that from her, hey, I can break her. And then... She can do whatever I say do because I know she's going to want to see them. So she agreed to all my terms and my agreements. <laughs> well, that's what they thought, okay? Because, no, they on some BS. Strictly, they on some BS. Because I'm like, throughout the time that they know me, that we know each other, like, before the dating even happened like you knew you know my character even now like you know my character so throughout this whole time that we dating or we not dating we just you know co-parenting like you know that I'm not with no drama I'm the type of person to go with the flow I'll be taking the high road I took the high road many times when I disagreed with whatever that the dad said because they was dating somebody and it's I'm straight I'm pretty sure it's because of what they female told them to say to me or you know like I said trying to cause drama and that's another thing too I'm like this is years ago okay this is years ago I had two children at the time and I was dating somebody who had two kids by the same person his youngest child I believe was I don't know, but just say two. He was still in pull-ups, so I'm going to say two. One and a half, two years old, and then he had a daughter that um, I want to say was six or seven. No, not even that old. I don't know, like five, five or six. But anyways, so me and him dating or whatever, and I had two kids at the time. He had two kids. So we dated for a few months. It wasn't a long time. But the thing is, when his... I'm going to say baby mom, when she would call him, it's like for some reason they would get into arguments and then the children live with her, you know, I, don't, I guess it was a custody thing or it was out of court thing, I don't even know, but the children, you know, was with her and he would just see them, you know, every other week on every weekend or, you know, stuff like that. And um, so basically, I'm like, when they talk on the telephone, 
yeah, she be calling like at 10 o'clock at night, 10.30, 11 o'clock, want to talk to him or want to say, oh, one of the kids want to talk to you. And like me and him be, you know, right there. So whatever. But my thing is, them two would always argue over the telephone. And mind you, she knew that he was the man who was dating. So when I say they would argue over the telephone, I'm like, and I'll be sitting next to him. And then sometimes I have to get up and go to the other room because, like, he be cussing at her and I hear her cussing at him and they calling each other names. And I'm just, like, in my head, what in the heck? So, whatever. So, it's been, like, I had to say something to him. Like, I think I said something to him all the time. But I know one particular time when he got off the phone with her and he was just calling her B, 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 you know, like man just B did this and she and I'm just looking at him like why are you disrespecting your children's mom like y'all talking about y'all was high school sweethearts and you know y'all got two kids together like what happened to the love like why do it gotta be you know drama like what's the problem so I was telling him like don't call her no B no more especially in front of me like I don't want to hear that like come on now, like, neither one of y'all, I'm like, come on, <laughs> like, till this day, I'm just like, what's the problem, how come people can't get along, you know, put baby mothers, baby fathers, quote, unquote, I'm like, what's the problem, so that was my kind of thing, like, I didn't understand they whole drama issues and whatever, but, um, so anyway, so I'm just like, and I don't want to be in that, like, like I said, I got four different children dads two of them sure acting like man I want to say some stuff but I ain't even gonna call mm. but yeah but I, I don't see where the drama need to come in at but just basically I'm about to end this video though but just know that um for the children um for the children I love children this man this world is about to be peaceful once my children reconnect and connect be free man what a wonderful world this is going to be <laughs> all right